Hello friends, Osiris here. The seven star terror raid event for Venusaur is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. So off the back of Pokemon Day and the Pokemon Presents, we had the announcement of three new terror raids that are coming to Scarlet and Violet. The first one is going to be Venusaur and it is kicking off as of recording this video on February the 28th and running until the 5th of March. Venusaur will be level 100, will have its hidden ability Chlorophyll, doubling its speed in the sun, and it will have access to Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Amnesia, Sunny Day, Growth, and Petal Blizzard. It will, of course, be a ground terror type. It can never be shiny, and it will have that illustrious, mightiest mark attached to it. It will have a modest nature, of course, no held item, and will have that 30 times multiplier to its HP. Of course, it is only catchable once per save file. The item drops, as usual, are the standard things like level up candy, zincs, you're going to get ground terror shards for this one, and ability patches. But on top of that, there is the caveat of having Herba Mystica drops with this raid. So repeating this raid the second time or any time after the first time of doing it, you're going to have a 3% chance every time you defeat this Venusaur of one of the five Herba Mystica dropping with this Venusaur. So a really good raid to take advantage of this one for the time that it is running, meaning that we can finally get Herba Mystica with a seven star terror raid. So a really good one to take advantage of, running like I say from the 28th of February until the 5th of March into next week. Now to access this event in your game, you're gonna need to make sure that you are connected to the internet, then come to your Poker Portal and then come down to Mystery Gifts and then check Poker Portal News. Once you click on this, it will update all of your dens on your map and you'll be able to head over to the seven star raid den, which is located here. Now the build that we're gonna feature in today's video is gonna be most consistent one that you're gonna be able to take in to solo this with in your game very easily. We'll jump into the raid and show you exactly how it works in a minute, but it is gonna be for Chestnut. So the grass and fighting type first partner Pokemon will have the grass terror typing. It will have the held item of the shell bell and will be level 100. As always, the build will be down in the description if you wanna take a closer look at the details after the video. The moveset that we've got is very straightforward. It's going to be Sword Stance. That is a TM. Spiky Shield, it is a learn move. So you'll be able to get that fine just leveling up. And then Seed Bomb as well is another move that you'll have access to. The important thing for this Chestnut build is the ability Bulletproof. It will give you an immunity to bomb type attacks. So Sludge Bomb being one of them is a key reason why the chestnut works in this raid. So make sure you do have that hidden ability. It will require an ability patch and the EV spread is gonna be 252 in attack and then 252 EVs in special defense with the rest put into that HP stat. So the four remaining there and an adamant nature. So that is the chestnut build all in all. And we will jump into the raid now and I'll show you how easy it can be you to run through and farm these Herba Mysticas over the weekend as well as grab the Venusaur from this event. So when you first come into the raid that turn zero we're going to see Venusaur do a multitude of things. Obviously we know turn zero normally Pokemon do set up here but it is going to get the sunny day up. That's important to note that the growth under sunny day is going to be a plus two to special attack and it's attack stat rather than that plus one. So we'll see the sunny day come out first turn here from the Venusaur. Then it is going to go for a growth, which is going to put it at plus two attack and special attack. So it's going to be hitting a lot harder. And then third, it is going to fire off a petal blizzard as well, just to put the ice on the cake. But what we're going to do, we're not going to panic in this situation. We're just going to lock in with our seed bomb here because we're chasing that terrestrialization. We want to get to be able to terrestrialize as soon as possible. We are going to see the Venusaur go for an amnesia here, which is fine. If you've got an Arbolivia as well, it kind of can help you, but it can against you as well because the giga drains from the venusaur it's going to be so boosted up by the end of this it will be hitting a lot harder so it kind of swings and roundabouts there second turn we just go for that seed bomb once again you see the sludge bomb coming out here it is activating that bulletproof ability that we've got access to giving us the immunity so really important for this chestnut one of the big selling points about why this is a really good option going into this raid turn three again we'll just lock in with another seed bomb because like i say we want to get to the point where we can terrestrialize as quick as possible. Now, after this turn three, it's likely going to nullify the stats and abilities on our side of the field and then set up its shields. It may vary, maybe turn two and maybe turn four, depending on the damage of the Venusaur that you've done. But like you can see here, nullifies the stats, changes and the abilities on our side of the field. So this is the turn. This is a really important turn where you need to spiky shield here. So it's going to set up the shield as well. 
on its end but we need to spiky shield because our ability is nullified this turn so we need to avoid getting a sludge bomb because if it goes for a sludge bomb now it's going to knock us out and we haven't got the bulletproof to protect us so that is one big thing to keep in mind we do see the sludge bomb it is into the spiky shield and that's the only time we're really going to ever need that move throughout this raid so the next turn we are going to go for the terrestrialization and we are going to go for a sword stance while we're healthy we're going to take the opportunity to try and get a sword stance set up and boost our attack stat ideally we want to be on plus six so three sword stances by the close of this game but you can get through this part with just one sword stance if you're kind of low health you want to make sure that you are seed bombing to keep yourself topped up with that shell bell health item but if you get a free turn like this where it goes for the sludge bomb again then you're going to be in a good place to go for another sword stance the next turn after you have terrestrialized so we're going to be able to do that next turn and then launch off the seed bombs after that so you just need to keep a gauge on what your health is like in this situation of the raid because those giga drains are still doing a lot of damage right taking us down to nearly half health so we need to make sure that we are doing some big damage the next turn to kind of restore that health so we aren't getting knocked out when we are terrestrialized that's the big important things in this raid so see we can just lock in after we've got those two sword stances up we're plus four attack right now giga drain going to come out again do some decent damage take us down to a bit of an iffy range so the seed bomb is going to be a very valuable to us and the whole thing that we're doing now is just clicking seed bomb trying to get rid of that shield it is going to be a bit of a grind here because this shield is so thick but once the shield's gone you're going to be in a, such a good position to just close this up very quickly so this is what i mean about the chestnut the only thing you have to worry about is if it does fire off those earth powers it has the chance to lower your special defense and that can really go against you and make the venusaur hit even harder than it is right now so you have to watch out for that if you do get bad rng at times that can be something that does go against you but like i say once we've got that two sword stances under our belt we can just fire these seed bombs off pretty safely here just recovering our health keeping us in that healthy position and just chipping away at that shield like i say once the shield is gone we're going to be in a really good position to close this out and you can see the raid timer as well is pretty healthy at this stage for the giga drain coming out from the venus soul so that's what it's opting for at the moment knowing that it can't go for the sludge bombs but not opting for the earth powers which we like to see because the earth powers do kind of have that caveat of that lowering the special defense chance every time so one more seed bomb after this and we should be able to break this the shield and we'll be in that position to kind of close the game up so like i say we've only got two sword stances off if you're in that position where you can get three sword stances off in this position then you're going to be in such a stronger place when that shield is broke there's the earth power coming out thankfully doesn't lower our special defense so that's really good to see and this seed bomb should break the shield and that's what we like to see so that's excellent for us it should restore a nice chunk of health as well along the way and like i said the the chestnut is pretty consistent if you just follow what we've done in this this guide so far you're going to have no trouble at running through it pretty quickly over the weekend and i feel like this is the quickest and most consistent way to uh, to run through the venusaur so we'll go for a sword stance here a uh, seed bomb here sorry be nice to go for a sword stance of course but we're plus four and you can see it's still chunking away if we're in a position where we can get a sword stance off like this next turn if we can get a sword stance off then we should go for it here we should go for it get ourselves to plus six and then it's going to probably put the venusaur in range now we do get very fortunate here the venusaur is fully paralyzed but even with you know an earth power or giga drain at this range it's only going to take us to a maximum of just above 50 percent health so we'll be able to take the attacks and as you can see it goes for a sludge bomb so activating that bulletproof now we're a plus six attack it only nullifies your attacks uh your stats once through the battle so we're not in any danger here as we see the earth power come out and you can see we can take at least it would take three of those to knock us out uh pending a critical hit of course but i'll be able to launch these seed bombs and one more after this will be enough to wrap up the venusaur and that's as easy as that friends there are just those key moments in the battle where you're just going to have to pay attention use the spiky shield when the stats are nullified and then just kind of gauge your health throughout and um, sword stance when you can feel comfortable to and then just fire off uh, seed bombs for the rest of it after you have terrestrialized and you're going to be able to close this up pretty quickly should be about six seven minutes in total to run through the venus or in for farming herba mystica in particular that's actually quite good it's probably the best way we've got at the moment so make sure if you are wanting to stock up on herba mystica of course it's not a guaranteed chance every time you do it uh, but it gives you very good odds of being able to farm for them when you're doing this raid over and over and over again over the weekend while it's running there you go we got a salty herba mystica 
as a little bonus there as an additional time through with this Venusaur. Also, after you've caught the Venusaur and you've run through it once and you want to respawn the den because you only get one appearing on your map at a time, you can use this method. Just hit your home menu, come down into your system settings, then down into system, then into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off. Then into the date and time options, just toggle through with A, don't change anything here, then come back into the game and then you'll see everything on your map will despawn and respawn and you'll be able to locate the seven star terror raid event then again on your map head over to it and repeat the process that we just repeat so that is everything for today's video friends i hope you have a lot of fun with this brand new seven star terror raid that is in celebration of pokemon day of course happy pokemon day to all of you but more importantly happy herba mystica hunting uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with this. If you've been using any other builds to success to run through the Venusaur this weekend, do leave them in the comment section below to help the community on a whole. But I hope the build that we feature in today's video is super helpful and you have a lot of success with it. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found it useful, do drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon content. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.